and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we got plenty of stuff to go over. We got some early blitz info. I got some cards to show you guys. I got the high 80 cards and the low 90 cards to show you guys. So I have some pretty cool things. Specifically, one card, the Kyler Murray card, guys. So, yes, your rookie premiere, Kyler Murray, will be getting an upgrade. Let's actually go check our binder around, see if you already got the upgrade. Super cool. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to be excited about this Kyler Murray card. I'll go over everything once he's actually out in the game. He is not actually out yet, I do not believe. So he has not been upgraded yet, but we'll be getting a brand new Kyler Murray card today. So stay tuned for that. He's very, very good. We're going to go over his stats, so make sure you stay through the video. And I have other things to go over, such as solo challenges, signature series, and a bunch of other stuff. So make sure you stay to the end and the Harvest Daily stuff to talk about. But guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification, boys. We just hit 13K right for Thanksgiving. Perfect timing. The goal is like 16 to 17K by the end of Christmas. So let's keep grinding out, boys. Keep coming. Keep hitting that subscribe button. Let's see if we can get to 16 to 17K by Christmas. And if you haven't already, make sure to smash the like button. It's 10.30 on Thanksgiving, boys. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day with your families. Hope that you guys have a great day. And if you can make it to this video, that's great. Now, guys, for my Thanksgiving... All you guys have to do is smash that like button. Can we get our best liked video at 1030 on a content video ever? See if we can get 500, half a thousand likes on this 1030 content video, boys. But if not, it's all good. Still Thanksgiving. Hope you guys enjoy. Now, to get into this video, like I said, we're going to go over the solo challenge, the new LTD solo challenge that just came out, some blitz information, everything that just came out. So let's head on over to the Photoshop screen or my screenshots, I should say, to show you guys the cards. So here's some of the lower blitz overall cards that are going to be introduced during this promo. Now, they did reveal these players last night, actually. So we already knew about these, but I did save it for today's video. So quite a few decent cards here and some weird stats. So like, it's not like sometimes when you see 87s, 88s, you think like, you know, mid 80s stats. Like some of them have really high, like, mid 90s low 90s really high 80s but then other stats suck so like but these are the kind of cards you want when you're getting a car that's like going to be budgety you want a guy with one like insane stat everything else would suck you don't want cars that are really well rounded because that won't really help on a budget team depending on the position obviously but at 87 overall right now we got chase vinovich 83 speed 87 excel 88 tackle 80 accelerate up uh, 80 play rec 82 block shedding 84 power move and 74 finesse this card is decent Decent athleticism, decent tackle, <clears throat> decent run stuffing, decent pass rushing, decent card overall. 87 John Ross. Now this card's kind of exciting. 94 speed, 85 jumping, 81 catching, 80 short route running, and 84 deep route running. I pretty much going to say the relevant stats because obviously those stats aren't that relevant. I don't want to waste your time with. But 94 speed, guys. This is a poor man's Tyree Kill. If you can't afford Tyree Kill, pick up this John Ross. Won't be as you know elusive or as agile. Or be able to cut it quickly, but he's gonna have that straight line speed that you're looking for that you typically want in one of these cards. Then we got John Abram, strong safety for the Oakland Raiders, 90 speed, 88 excel, 85 play rec, 95 hit power, 87 pursuit. So that 90 speed, 80 excel, 88 excel, and 95 hit power combo is gonna be deadly. The only issue is his zone and man coverage really bad. But if you put this guy, if you guys put them in, put him in the box, he's gonna be one of the best linebackers in the game. 90 speed, 88 excel, six feet tall, 95 hit power, 87 pursuit. Put this guy in the box, and trust me, he will eat for you. Next, we got 88 overall halfback Matt Burita for the 49ers. He's got 92 speed, 90 excel, 87 agility, 86 catching. And 80 elusiveness. It's pretty much a speed back, speedy back. Although we have the NFL 100 guys now, so he's not gonna feel as speedy. But 92 speed, 90 excel. He's, just, he's a straight speedy back. He might even have decent. Uh, his juke should be pretty decent. He's not. He's, he's known to make a few moves. Then we got Marcus Hunt, 88 defensive tackle for the Indianapolis Colts. 82 speed, 85 excel. So that's really good athleticism for the defensive tackle spot. He's at 84 strength, 79 tackle, 85 play rec, 82 block, 84 power move. This car is pretty well rounded. Not a bad defensive tackle. Would I personally use him? Probably not, but. Pretty decent. And then we got Montez Sweat, the right linebacker for the Washington Redskins. Now, his card's looking pretty good in some aspects. 89 speed, 91 excel, 87 tackle, 84 play rate, 83 finesse move. Now, guys, if his finesse move was closest to like an 88, his card would be a monster. He's going to have, he has an 89 speed, 91 excel. He's probably the fastest outside linebacker like in the game, at least close to it if he's not already the fastest. With decent finesse move, for good tackle, decent play rate. If only his block shed or finesse moves were a little bit higher, his card could actually be pretty beastly. But guys, that is it for the lower rolls. Let's move on to the next one. So guys, you guys can see we got the 89s through the 90s. And we got Trey Wayne's 93 overall. I mean, 93 speed, sorry. 89 overall, 93 speed. Now, these cards look like they have limited numbers. But by the way, these limited numbers don't mean they're LTDs. It means that you have to make them from the blitz sets. So as many people that make them is as many as they'll actually be in the game. So pretty much once the set's out of the, out of the game, that'll be the 
final number. So Trey Wayne's is a 93 speed, 91 excel, so that's really solid. 85 agility, 87 jumping, 84 play rec, 83 man, 80 zone coverage, 88 press. If he goes for cheap enough, this could be an insane budget corner, especially with the right cams and stuff on him. Still get the nice press, great speed. Man in zone's decent, but the speed and acceleration and the excel the athleticism in general is crazy. Next to it, left outside linebacker Jerome Baker for the Miami Dolphins. Six foot two, 88 speed, 88 excel, solid. 88 tackle, 94 play rec, 81 block shed, 49 power move, 60 finesse move. So he's a decent run stuffer. Can't really pass rush. If his zone is good, this could be a very great card, but I do not know. Next we got DK Metcalf, the man child. DK Metcalf, 89 speed. I mean 89 overall. Oh my god, I keep reading speed first. 89 wide receiver, six foot three, so he's tall as hell. 93 speed, 92 jumping. So he's gonna be crazy athletic. 84 catching, 88 catching traffic, and 90 spec catch. So with the right cams, he's gonna have the catch and, tra uh, catch and traffic threshold, the spec catch threshold. He has 80 short route running, 77 medium, and 79 deep route running. So his route running's horrific, horrific, but he's gonna be a great wide receiver considering his catching stats and his speed and jumping. He's kind of like that John Ross, except what you sacrifice but one speed, you get with way better catching. So you can actually count on him to make some deep catches. And so he can he can run straight lines. That's pretty much what he's gonna be good at. He's not gonna be great at like short routes and like doing little fancy routes for you, but get him open in space. He's gonna make things happen. Next we got 90 overall tight end Mark Andrews. He's six foot five, so he's a pretty huge tight end. 85 speed, 79 strength, 88 catching, 85 catching traffic, 84 spec catch, 83 short route running, 83 medium route running, and 73 run blocking. So his run blocking is not great. The speed is really good though. He's gonna be just as fast as the Kittle. So. He's gonna be he's gonna be pretty competitive with Kittle to be quite honest with you guys. Minus the except the run blocking, that's what gives Kittle the advantage. But stats wise, as a tight end, he's gonna be just as good. It's just about the the run blocking to kill him a little bit, and maybe the catch the catching stat in general. Although Kittle's not much higher. Then we got Bryce Callahan, 90 overall cornerback for the Chicago Bears. He got 91 speed, 90 acceleration, 85 agility, 94 jumping, 90 play rec, 86 man, 84 zone, 74 press. So the speed and athleticism in general is great. The jumping's amazing. The play rack's amazing. The man and zone are pretty good. If he was able to be powered up, this card would have been a whole lot better because I could have gotten his man up to a potentially 90. But this card's decent. Great athleticism. A lot of these cards are athletic. They're just not the best at some of the other things that they should be good at. And then finally, we get the 90 overall Kyler Murray. So guys, all you guys who have Ricky Premier Kyler Murray, you will finally be getting your upgrade. So you guys should be excited. He has a 90 speed. You're gonna get a 90 speed quarterback for free. 89 throw power. 85 throw short, 82 throw mid, 85 throw deep, 80 throw on the under pressure, 91 throw on the run, and 78 play action. So, chemmed up all the way. This car could probably get above 90 throw power, above 90 speed, obviously. Pretty pretty high deep accuracy, pretty high mini accuracy, and slightly better throw on the run. This car's gonna be pretty great. Now, it all comes down to his juke and spin, see what else you got, like underlying break sack. But this car's gonna be fun to play with. Hopefully, you guys, okay, you who had the record you guys can have them today and enjoy him now it would be cool if they let us put proper abilities on him i don't know if ricky premier's gonna ever let us do that but they should have you can only hope right it'd be cool if we can get like escape artist stuff on him obviously i mean i personally think that his blitz card will probably get it they'll probably do it like team of the week where their blitz cards can get abilities on them i think that's how they should do because none of these cards here are power-ups at all so kind of defeat the purpose of dropping a bunch of blitz that can't get abilities but that's about it for this let's go over to the ltd harvest solo and then the signature series all right, guys, so the LTD Harvest Souls have dropped in the game. Harvest limited time. Come earn some early Blitz rewards with these limited time Harvest challenges. This content will not be available tonight at 12 midnight, pretty much. So you have to play these all by tonight at 12 midnight. There is Thanksgiving Day games. There is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six games total. They appear to be full games, but you do earn early Blitz rewards. So pretty much each game gives you 100 Blitz Bolts. Or it gives you up to 100 blitz bolts, 2400 coins, 2400 coins, 100 blitz bolts. Same thing for all the games. So if you do play all these, you will get 600 blitz bolts. I don't exactly know how much that is just yet. I don't know if that's like a great amount, a decent amount. I don't know what the coin conversion is yet. But all you gotta do is play it on three stars. So make sure you play it on. I mean, you could play it on one star and then just do the bonus touchdown of the bonus things. But if you want, if you don't wanna do that, just go play three stars, get them all done. You can get up to 600 blitz bolts total and about 14,400 coins as you guys can see right there. Again, you have to play these today, so it sucks that it's on Thanksgiving, but I know a lot of you guys, while you're waiting for all your family dinners and stuff, you can just relax, chill out, play some Madden, so get those done. Also, your all-stars have to be done today if you're gonna make them because today is the last day to do all that. And now, just to recap, guys, apparently the Daily Souls, there's no final reward. I don't really know what the point of that was. They did say, I mean, I guess 10,000 coins was the reward you guys get, but they did say we'd be getting something. But I guess we didn't really get anything cool at the end. I mean, well, it is what it is. At least we got to do it. It was, it was some good content to give you guys. You guys got some free coins. And then the Harvest Limited Time, I recommend you guys go play those. Get your early Blitz Bolts because, again, 
you're no money spent and you're trying to get your free blitz play you got to get you got to literally get every last blitz bolt you can acquire and save on to those now guys go over to the signature series cards guys okay, so the first card is Devante parker 93 overall wide receiver for the miami dolphins one of the unfulfilled promise receivers who came from a good class he was supposed to be well, he was supposed to be part of a good class he was supposed to be great and he never really panned out i mean it's probably a part of the miami dolphin system they don't probably use him right quarterbacks have never been great the offense has been great they haven't had a great reputation in the past so that could also attribute to his lackluster performances he does have these big blow up games but that also comes on the hand of a great quarterback performance whenever the quarterback doesn't do too great he doesn't have much of a chance i think he could be great somewhere else but he's still stuck there and he's been injury prone without his career never has helped he's got 90 speed 90 excel solid 87 agility 70 strength 89 jumping 92 awareness so athleticism wise top tier 92 catching 93 catch track 94 spec catch 89 short out running 89 medium out running 87 deep out running 92 relief guys hemmed up this card's gonna be pretty crazy he could potentially get all the route running thresholds he can get really really high catching stats great speed he's gonna have 86 juke move 80 carrying 81 break tackle 82 spin move wow i approve of this card this card's great not gonna lie six foot three 212 great card overall i think this card's pretty phenomenal not gonna lie gonna be one of the better receivers in the game although he's gonna be probably quite expensive for the time being and i do not believe he can be powered up if he could have been powered up this car could have been literally the best receiver in the game or at least close to it right there with michael irvin because this card's insane the speed's going to be a little bit low compared to some of the better receivers which is going to be the only thing holding him back which would have been counteracted by a power but he does not have that and the next card is justin simmons signature series free safety for the denver broncos six foot two 202 pounds let's see what he's got he's got 88 speed 91 excel 96 agility okay 93 jumping 94 awareness 94 play rec so so far, those stats look phenomenal for a strong safety, although he does play this. Oh, free safety, even better. 82 man, 81 zone. That's going to be the death of his card right there. 74 hands for catch, I should say. 48 catch in traffic, 65 spec catch, 74 block shed, 94 pursuit, 84 tackle, 86 hit power. Justin Simmons is that guy that comes on the foot on your football team and just like he's like highly athletic, so he can play wherever, but he's not really good at the position. He's just really athletic because he cannot play zone, cannot play man, so that's horrible for a free safety. A strong safety you can do with that because you can put him in the box, but free safety. Can't play man, can't play zone, can't tackle too well, can't hit that hard, and isn't even that fast. He's, I would call that good speed. Like, that's Brian Dawk. I'd rather have Brian Dawkins. Brian Dawkins has the zone threshold. He has the same speed just about, while also having an above 90 hit power. Great card. The evil, decent card. I mean, he has some great, he had some great potential with the agility, the play rec, the jumping, the pursuit, but he killed it in other places. Now, it does appear as though he can play a strong safety. Other thing. Oh, so that's cool. Shows you the overalls now, which is pretty cool. High motor, yes no great no great uh intangibles or anything else so that's about it for the video guys setting over to the match screen to close out this video for the video thank you guys for coming out to this 10 30 video on your thanksgiving hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of your day with your families enjoy your thanksgiving guys eat all the turkey you guys have to eat if you guys are still here to this point i appreciate each and every one of you if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell boys stay tuned for all your blitz information all your harvest information on christmas so on and so forth make sure to comment down below what do you guys think of the signature series Will you be playing the LTD solos? And what do you think of the 90 overall Blitz cards I showed you guys? And if you haven't already, make sure to smash that like button. Guys, for my Thanksgiving, all you gotta do is smash that like button to make my day. So let's see if we can get to half a thousand likes on this 1030 content video, guys. I'm out. See you guys next video. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. Enjoy your day off with your families. Peace.